Joining me, Pitt Sides and Hereford's captain and man of the match, Jared Hotchkiss. Um, vital three points today. Massive three points. The lads dug deep today and uh, deserved the win. We could have won by a few more, I think, if we'd have been clinical in the second half. But it was tough. And Boston had a good go second half, but I'm pleased with the three points, yeah? Look very expansive, very open in the, in the first half, and the Hereford firmly on top. Yeah, the gaffer mentioned before the game that we need to be a bit more possession based. Um, it's difficult sometimes with the wind, especially last week at Chorley as well, the weather wasn't great. Um, so that was our focus a little bit, get the ball down and play a little bit more, and I think um, we did that quite well. Because they came in with a strategy of five across the back, and before they knew it, they were two goals down, weren't they, Boston? Yeah, and then they changed the formation, so the game plan obviously worked well first half. Um, like I said, they come out second half and we give it a good go, but um, we stood up to the, the test and, uh, yeah. How anxious were you at, at the back towards the end? It got a bit frenetic, didn't it? It did, but it wouldn't be Hereford if it wasn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we did make it difficult for ourselves, but it just shows the character that we've got in the dressing room. Um, and every one of them should be proud of themselves today. Gaffer's brought players in competition for places. Uh, I think Hereford are now one point off the playoff position, so it's looking good at the minute. Yeah, um, as long as we can keep the momentum going, momentum is a great thing in football. Um, so if we can keep that going, then that'd be great. Guys will be here next Saturday, I think. So um, another winnable game, but it's not going to be as easy as that. We've got to turn up and perform how we did today and defend how we did today. And um, yeah, we look forward to it. And then you've got Kidderminster Harriers uh, immediately after that. Mm -hmm. uh, a quick word on their exploits in the cup today? As I, don't, an ex, as an ex I honestly don't know how they got on. I know it was 1 1, but I don't know what the score was. I have to tell you, they lost in the 121st minute. Oh. Jared Bowen, who actually played for Hereford, got the late, late winner, late drama. Makes sense why the fans were singing his name then. <laughs> See ya. Um, look, then, they've done amazingly well to get to as far as they have, so. Credit to them, that's all I can say. Obviously, you're looking forward to that uh, as another battle at a local derby. Yeah, of course. Um, another big game for us, but we've got guys with first, can't take our eye off the ball really. We've got to make sure that we do get a right performance in on Saturday first and then we'll concentrate on Kidderminster after that. It's a question of winning your home games, that's what Hereford are doing now. Yeah, because we struggled to start the season, um, but there's a lot of new faces and stuff, so that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, it's starting to become a bit of a fortress. How much do you notice a difference on the training ground these days with the, with the new players coming in, give, giving sort of fresh legs, fresh impetus to sessions? I think, yeah, I'm not the gaffer at the end of the day, but the gaffer sees fit what he does to bring the squad and improve the squad. So um, I think it seems like that on the pitch that we're getting good results. So um, long may that continue. I know we didn't win last week against Chorley, but we have a good account of ourselves first half. Obviously a bit disappointed second half, but don't want to dwell on the past. We look forward to Saturday. How close do you think you're going to get to those top seven? Because that's, that's the, you need to start winning against those teams in the top seven, yeah. let's put it that way. Yeah, it's a bit of a cliche, but you have to take one game at a time. We don't want to look too far ahead. Yes, we obviously we need to beat top seven teams, but at the end of the day, you've just got to beat the 11 that's in front of you the next game. If you keep doing that, then we'll see where it takes us by the end of the season. Well done today. Thank you very much. Cheers.